abusive ex-husband attempts to commit bigamy after putting me through hell, revenge commences. Now, when I met my now ex-husband, he was ideal. He was what I thought I needed. I believed I loved him and that the fairy tale was real. We met by random chance, both many hours from our homes. Me whilst running away from a situation at home, he while a planned trip abroad. I ended up in Europe within a month and we married about 10 months later. All good, right? Well. It was. Until I started racking up multiple university degrees with honors and he began to realize that not only was I significantly younger, about 17 years, thinner, a big issue in his mind, not in mind at all, and, according to him, better looking. I was now significantly better educated. He was always a bit insecure, but the degrees seemed to really push him over the edge. While I was waiting for my spousal visa, things were falling apart. We both kind of gave up but decided to resolve to save our relationship. I moved and found that nothing he had promised to prepare had happened. The home situation was a mess. We were leaving with his quite elderly widow or father and he was meant to be taking care of him and the household. None of this was happening. Instead, both ex-husband and his disgusting sister were essentially leaving as leeches off of their 80-something father. I tried to make things work. But within a week and a half of me landing, he threw an iPad at my head and punched the wall next to my head whilst screaming that he could have me deported at will. Okay. Well, fine. I made a promise. I kept trying. It got worse. I took months of emotional abuse, insults, threats, cursing, and everything else short of him actually laying hands on me. Six months later, he randomly disappeared for two weeks to visit Seattle without mentioning it to me. I left. I started over with nothing much to my name but a job and a bit of money thousands of kilometers from anyone I knew. He expected me to run home. I didn't falter. I blossomed. About a year later, I met my present partner who has been the truest and most loyal partner I could have wished for. Truly, if I had to do it all again, I would if I knew my partner would be on the other side. Now for my revenge. I happened to find out that he had a new girlfriend that seemed very serious and noticed she had mentioned wedding planning on social media. You have to keep tabs on your abusers, especially when your safety is at risk. Now, she's welcome to him. The only issue is, due to draconian divorce laws in my current country, we were not divorced yet. He planned on marrying her in another country. When we met, he told me he had never been married. I later found out he was indeed divorced. I was willing to bet he fed her the same exact lie. So, I sent her a message. My suspicions were confirmed. He told her he had never been married. I was wife number two. She didn't want to believe it until I sent her a photo of our marriage license as well as a few wedding photos. I did feel really badly about doing that to her because I could tell how hurt she was, but I knew it was better for her to know the truth than to inadvertently marry him the next month in Seattle as they had planned. She had children. She had a violent ex-husband. She and I actually ended the conversation on a positive note, with her thanking me and me apologizing and explaining why I felt I had to tell her. And then the fallout. My phone started blowing the hell up. Unknown number. In the evening. Hmm. Wonder who that might be. I was out enjoying a lovely dinner with my partner and answered a call on speaker. In came the usual threats for me and my security, blah blah blah. I could only laugh. He didn't know where I was, nor was he getting past my partner. I could finally relax knowing I was safe, after months of night terrors. And then... I have lost the love of my life because of you. She has left me and thrown all of my things out of her home. People, I lost it. I could. Not. Stop. Laughing. It was poetic. He sent a similar email to my mother laced with blatant lies about me, as if she didn't know the play-by-play -play as it was happening, and as if she'd believe a word he had to say anyway. After I got done laughing, I hung up on him and had my number changed. Then... I remembered his sister was leaving at the same home. His sister has a disabled daughter that leaves 200 kilometers away that she claims benefits for, including an apartment and money allowances. She then sublets the handicap accessible apartment to her boyfriend illegally whilst leeching off of her father. She's also a thief, 
caught on hidden camera literally taking notes out of ex-husband's wallet. Ex-husband and his sister absolutely despise each other and are only both leaving there in hopes of driving the other out in order to get the house as inheritance. Now, if his sister got reported to the council for fraud and they did minimal investigation, they'd see she was falsely claiming benefits for an adult daughter who leaved far away and had her own benefits, deserved, from another council. She would lose her apartment and possibly face jail time. If she lost her apartment, it was certain she would never leave the father's home. It was ex-husband's worst nightmare. So, I made it happen. Besides, how dare the sister claim money she isn't entitled to, simply due to her being too lazy to work. She was a neglectful mother when she was actually caring for her kid, leaving her kid in a wheelchair with a jam sandwich and running to the pub the moment benefit money came in. Now she was lying and keeping a rare accessible apartment from someone who truly needs it. That more than justified it. But the thought of both of them being stuck in the same house, fighting all day and night, both too lazy to leave and too stubborn to give up the inheritance they fantasize about. That's a lovely thought to me. What makes it better? Knowing he cried his eyes out over his lost fiancé in that very same house, soaking in his miserable existence. T.L. D.R. Husband turned into controlling, abusive, insecure douchebag. Endured six months of abuse before escape. Found out he was planning to marry again before we were divorced by marrying in a different country. So told his fiancé the truth and got him dumped. Reported his hated sister to counsel for benefits fraud. So now they are both stuck leaving together in the same household waiting for their father to die for inheritance. Abuse my girlfriend? Okay. Prepare for what's coming. Hey. So here it goes. I'm in a relationship with this beautiful, amazing girl. She has always been there for me, supported me through and through the toughest points of life. My academics, family problems, and even going as far to comfort and calm me down during episodes of my panic attack, which is difficult feat to acquire. Over time, I have stopped taking my antidepressants because life has become way easier thanks to her, and a couple of my best friends. I'm now a clean, young healthy man with several hobbies, and socializes more easily with people, which is something that wasn't always the case. Mostly thanks to her. There's a lot to how this amazing girl changed my life and what issues that have been clear because of her, but this isn't what you came for. Needless to say, I love her. Here's the messed up part. Before she got into a relationship with me, she had a serious relationship with this scummy douchebag we'll call Jake. Jake dwarfed the definition of mistreatment with his actions against her. Cheating on her constantly, stalking, sexually harassing, and lastly, destroying her self-esteem and tearing down her mental strength. Calling her fat, when she was of a perfectly healthy BMI, reducing her to borderline anorexia that worsened her anemic condition. At one point calling her a pig when he forcefully exposes her stomach in a secluded public area. Ignores her most of the time and only comes to her for intimacy. At one point, he followed her home against her own will when she has made clear she doesn't want that, appearing at the front doorstep of her apartment when she was with her girlfriends. Then cheating on her when she told him that her parents in actuality, did not allow him to enter the house and she was instead trying to defend their relationship. A true definition of a f-tard of the highest order. I'm not done yet. After cheating on her multiple times, also cheating on the girl she cheated on her with, he dumped her after he found no more use of her then spread rumors about how he was in the right. Claiming that he had been ignored when she was the one constantly asking him to chat or hang, only to be left on read. Fast forward a few months, and with no one else to screw around with in his school, he turned to her. At the time, she was still confused over him and was in horrible mental instability due to the combination of the abusive relationship and stressful academics. So, she took him in, and they so-called made up. A few hours later, he went to another girl's house and made out with her, which at the time, she suspected but did not know and hence didn't confront him about it. As it turns out, he only got back to her because he wanted to go on his first ever third base with her. After three days of getting back with her, he once again paid no attention to her texts and then proceeds to slide his hand on her legs towards her no-no zone. She pushed him back and stormed out of the area. The worst part was that she was the one who apologized. As her birthday approached, she asked him to come down to her chalet party, to which he agreed. But no, 
this is indeed worse than the fact that she was the one who apologized. He dumped her on her birthday. Left her in tears in the evening. Before doing so, he yanked her into a stairway and went second base with her, which was then interrupted as he asked for a breakup. He also asked for a last kiss after breaking up with her, which she reluctantly gave. She was left in tears for hours before she got over that scummy human being, and left with psychological torment of anxiety, trust issues and low self-esteem all thanks to this prick. I remember seeing him that day at the party. I also remember really wanting to clock his jaw that it'd pop straight out and make him look like grade A under A. Cue the revenge. He thinks he's a tough guy. Underage smoker, underage drinker, illegal gambler, selling of contraband cigarettes slash alcohol to minors, and has a lot of his so-called bad boy friends who also share some of his vices. He would flaunt all of this on Instagram, and some of the more messed parts on his more private account which I found my access to. Casual and classic morons, who think with the so-called glory that they so delusionally think they'd get but instead gets the polar opposite. He thinks he's the man and feared by many. Well, not me buddy. I wasn't scared. I compiled all evidence of his school rule breaking and illegal activities, as well as screenshots of his texts asking for sexual favors from three of his exes that I got into contact from friends owing me favors. I reported this activity police, as well as sending an angrily written email to the school about how he drunkenly took a piss at a void deck. Spread about his messed up actions and conversations to some of my friends in his school, and to the friends of mine inside of schools around his school. The word spread like wildfire, and the school and police were also alerted on the aforementioned activities. He was suspended for months and sent to a rehabilitation center as well as the boys' home for corrective training and community service. His parents are also now divorced partially due to this incident. He was fined by the Health and National Environment Agency for underage smoking and alcohol consumption. His schoolwork has taken a huge toll and he has essentially zero friends because of all of the rumors. A small act more, and he will be expelled from the school as a build-up to the previous incident. Not forgetting to mention, he sabotaged his other friends for illegal gambling. So he's going to have a nice time when he eventually comes face to face with them. As I found out from one of my buddies in his school. Don't fuck with my girl. Don't psychologically torment someone because it can leave them scarred for life. You could have left her suicidal for all I know. I hope you rid this one day, douchebag. TL, DR. I got my girlfriend's ex in severe consequences because of the abuse he put her through. Abuse my girlfriend? She'll ruin your life. Let me preface this by saying that my girlfriend is probably one of the sweetest, kindest, nicest people you'll ever meet. Got a bit of issues with a-holes, bullies, and liars. Let the revenge ensue. There's three people. Husband, wife, and neckbeard, we'll call them. This one I've watched as a third person. Girlfriend was looking for a new place and ended up moving in with a co-worker, at the time, his wife, and another roommate. She ended up moving into a place where she couldn't do laundry, dishes, or even freaking cook. Unknown to her at the time, she had moved in with hoarders. Husband has had about 12 noteworthy concussions, was sexist, and was convinced that my girlfriend was plotting something the entire time that she lived there. His wife is a spoiled rich girl who has finally been cut off from her family, and either will have genuine psychotic breaks, or just throw temper tantrums, not entirely clear which. She's directly responsible for $2,000 plus of property damage, at a guess. The neckbeard had started stalking my girlfriend, and she couldn't even go to another part of the house to do something without him following her there, despite how many times she expressed that this wasn't okay. Eventually she managed to get the neckbeard to stop stalking her, when he had followed her to work and people basically told him to F off. At that point, this issue ended up on the back burner due to the other two going freaking nutso. Wife had also told my girlfriend she had been abused, sexually assaulted, and severely bullied when she was growing up. The revenge starts taking place after word gets to some of the wife's friends about what she had told my girlfriend, and the two friends, one of whom had known the wife from something like age 9. We'll call them K and M. In addition to the entirety of wife's family directly telling my girlfriend these are flat out lies. Girlfriend was pissed, but kept her cool, as they were still leaving together. It's at this point that she realizes fully how horrendously toxic these people are. 
fast forward to a couple months later, and my girlfriend begins to take pictures of the house and show the landlord what the place looks like. Should also mention that the neckbeard hasn't paid rent for a little while, nor did he pay his share of the bills. Maybe a month later, all three are being evicted. My girlfriend was fine with that, didn't care, and was prepared to move on with her life. Especially since they were moving to another province. Then the wife directly contacts my girlfriend's little brother, as well as some of her friends, including one who has since been disillusioned with the wife's BS, to tell them how horrible my girlfriend is, and to frame her for the police being called on another of the wife's friends. K, the friend she told, sent screenshots of this conversation to M, and M sent them to my girlfriend. Girlfriend at this point basically just goes, challenge accepted. She then gathers proof of all of the wife's lies, vitriol, and just generally every shitty thing she said about everyone, including the wife's parents, who wife was planning to move back in with. Detailing how everyone around her is an abusive monster who wants nothing but to see her suffer. Parents basically tell her to get screwed. She's being evicted, cannot afford another place in the city she leaves in, and all of wife's friends are now fully aware that wife does nothing but lie, cheat, and manipulate people. Needless to say, wife is a bit upset by this and calls my girlfriend, basically begging her to tell everyone that she had been lying. My girlfriend then feeds her the same line she tried to feed to my girlfriend's younger brother. Sorry to tell you this, but I have to expose your true colors. Wife, husband, and neckbeard are now weeks away from eviction, without any friends, or anywhere to go. Refer back to the title. Edit. Forgot to mention that the wife would constantly steal and break my girlfriend's belongings, and repeatedly invaded her privacy.